Hey guys, this is Claudio Giuliano here. And today I am coming at you with a new video. And today we are going to take a deeper look at the second generation Apple Pencil. We just recently covered the second gen Apple Pencil in the most recent review of the 2018 iPad Pro. And today I wanted to do a deeper look and give you guys some more information on the second generation pencil and talk about some of the deeper improvements I didn't get to cover in the main review. So that's what we're going to get into today. So let's start. Now the second generation pencil is really a natural evolution of the first generation. As you guys know, I've held the first generation pencil in high regard. And as I continued to use the first generation pencil, it quickly became my favorite input device, my favorite drawing tool to work with um, in the digital space. So, you know, when going to this new iPad Pro and pencil, I was a little bit weary because I had always felt the first generation pencil got it so right, uh, I, I wasn't sure where they would take things. And this is really just something that feels like a natural progression, a natural evolution of the first generation. But it is better in a variety of ways. And that is what we are going to get into today. So I want to start with ergonomics. Now, the first gen pencil was ergonomic in hand and I always enjoyed it but if you are upgrading to the new generation you will notice the improvements all around in terms of how it feels in hand how it lays in hand and the added layer of functionality with double tap is fantastic the matte finish goes a long way um, the new design to the body also goes a long way because I feel that it sits in the hand in a more ergonomic way now and it's more comfortable. Um, it feels more natural and it feels much more like a realistic utensil. It always felt like a utensil, but the second gen really kind of brings that realism uh, forward in a noticeable way. And of course, the new double tap function is another thing that really goes a long way for workflows. And now it is something that uh, I wouldn't want to go without. It's a really helpful function, and I'm going to show you that in more detail in a little bit. But I want to talk about this really quick. One major thing that Apple improved with the second generation pencil is the low end pressure interpretation. Uh, the low end of the curve on the second generation pencil is more stabilized. Um, it's taking in more pressure uh, pretty much faster on the lower end of the spectrum. All around the second generation pencil does actually have more pressure uh, than the first gen. I, I did the mathematics with the curve. There is a bit more pressure here. Um, and you will see that and notice that on the low end of the curve, especially if you have a light hand. It has great initial activation force as it always has, uh, but now with this better low end stabilization and interpretation, uh, it feels even more natural. Of course, we're not getting any jitter anywhere, regardless of how fast or slow that you work on any kind of line. So, uh, you know, jitter does not exist with the Apple Pencil. We have extremely low latency here as well, and that is a combination of the new technology built into the second generation pencil because it's not identical to the first gen. It's very similar, but the technology is improved. The core technology of it is improved, uh, but we have super low latency here. It's basically real time, um, and what that really equals up to is if we have low latency, that really means the pencil in reality is super fast. That means when you put down your marks and lines and strokes, they are coming out pretty much in real time. And that is due to a combination of the screen, which has the ProMotion technology built in, and that is uh, pretty much a screen with a 120 hertz refresh rate. So that makes the pencil experience faster and the new technology makes it faster. So we have even lower latency than 
uh, the experience with the last generation iPad Pro and the first generation Pencil. And it was something I definitely noticed pretty quickly. Um, so it's pretty much like real time. And uh, it's, it's some of the lowest latency I've ever tested. And when you combine those things with the way that the pencil does tilt, now the tilt functionality also feels even more natural when you are working with it. So tilt, of course, is fantastic with the second generation pencil, and it works great. We now have system-wide settings to control the double tap functionality. Uh, so your system settings can override what the software is set to. And then you also have another layer of settings within software that you can custom set your double tap function to, whatever a particular software has it set up to. So right now I have mine set to bring up the color palette. And this is where the double tap functionality really comes in handy, especially in something that is a more complex software like Clip Studio Paint. The double tap function really comes in handy for pro level softwares uh, that are bringing forth the pro level user interface experiences. And Clip is another one of my go-to softwares. And this double tap function has really helped cut some steps out uh, when using Clip on the iPad Pro. Um, something that I have to access often in Clip is the color wheel or the color picker. Um, and that allows me to, of course, quickly pick color, but also it allows me to quickly toggle into the negative uh, when I need to do that. And now when I double tap, it's allowing me to access the color picker and the ability to quickly toggle into the negative pretty much with the pop-up functionality that is built into Clip. So I double tap, and when I double tap, that's going to pop up that palette, and I have quick access to it any time. I don't have to go in, click on uh, the color palette in the toolbar, and then click again to get into the negative, uh, and then pick the color, then close it out, and then have to go back in. Um, all of it is now streamlined because I can simply double tap, and it's going to pop right up. Now you can set this to other functions as well. You can set it to toggle to your eraser if you want to do that. Um, and you can also go in to your modifiers here in Clip and you can set it to perform other actions. You can double tap. Uh, you can set double tap to maybe toggle into rotate or the hand tool. There's a variety of things that you can set for double tap in Clip. So. It's a very great functionality and, of course, great in other softwares as well. We showed a bit of that in the review of the iPad Pro. So that small feature actually goes a long way and it allows you to create faster streamlines of workflow. Now that I've been working with it for an extended period of time, I definitely couldn't picture the pencil experience without that feature now. So it's definitely a feature I now rely on. So I am showing you what the pencil sounds like when you're actually drawing with it. And I wanted you to hear the sound because you can hear the increased tooth that the second generation pencil has. We are getting more drag here with this new pencil in combination with the new glass on the 2018 iPad Pro. And I was really glad about that. So some of you guys have been asking me where you can get some of my stuff from. If you go to the shop section on my site, you'll be able to get taken directly to the store. I put a bunch of new stuff up in the store and you can get everything from hoodies to shirts to matching shoes and a variety of different products that are pretty cool. If you wanna check it out, uh, that is now up on the shop section of my website. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video on the second generation Apple Pencil. So I really enjoy the natural evolution that is brought forth in the second gen. We have extremely natural pressure dispersion. We have improvements to the low end of the pressure spectrum of the curve. We have extremely low latency, which brings forth 
pretty much real-time results when you're laying down your strokes. We now have the new double tap functionality, which goes a long way when it comes to adding to streamline of workflow. We don't get any jitter anywhere, regardless of what direction we're drawing or the speed. Um, we get natural tilt and we get the new improved ergonomics because of the new design, the matte finish, and of course, uh, we get the new charging functionality. So really the pencil pretty much never loses a charge. I have really not gotten the pencil below 90% now that we have um, the new charging feature. All around, Apple has brought forth a good experience with the second generation pencil. I didn't think they could make something that was better than the first gen, but that is exactly what they did with the second generation pencil. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like this video, it would be great if you can share it with your friends, if you can comment, if you can subscribe, that would be great. We will be back with more on the 2018 iPad Pros very soon. Have a great day.